a cargo chartered dry bulk ship has launched on its first voyage since being fitted with special sails, aiming to study how harnessing wind power can cut emissions and energy usage in the shipping sector. BAR Technologies, which has designed boats for the America's Cup, developed the sails, which were built by Norway's Yara Marine Technologies. The Pixos Ocean is a, uh, is a pilot project that we've been working on for uh, many years with uh, many partners. And it basically resulted in a ship being retrofitted with two uh, wind wings, which are hard wings, close to 40 meters uh, tall, uh, which are going to help the propulsion of the ship and save uh, fuel uh, and with that saving uh, CO2 in the end of the day. The maritime industry, which accounts for nearly 3% of global CO2 emissions and is under pressure from investors and environmental groups to accelerate decarbonization, is exploring a number of different technologies, including ammonia and methanol, in an effort to move away from dirtier bunker fuel. Um, the maritime industry has got a decarbonisation challenge ahead of it. Um, this is not going to solve the problem entirely, but it's, it's a step in the right direction. You know, on these vessels, we're saving a tonne and a half a day, so 30, even 40% of fuel consumption. Cargill, one of the world's biggest ship charterers, has been exploring wind-assisted propulsion as one cleaner energy option. Wind was a common way of propelling ships before the switch to steam and diesel engines, but is now mostly used only for smaller vessels.